Alright guys, welcome back to Explain Now here. We're gonna be watching a Karazin match. Alright, so this match here we had a very very um psychopathic autistic moment. Uh, we're gonna see uh we saw two autics, one with two hundred IQ and the other with uh four hundred IQ. And it's gonna be very, very crazy. Alright, so I'm playing Karazim here. We have uh, Kilfas, we have Moradan, we have Lyric, we have Hanzo, and then we also have Jaina, we have Varian, we have Fastad on the uh, enemy team, we have Stuka, and they also have Da Dehika, Dehaka. Dehaka, Dehika, Dehoka, Dehaka. Anyways, smash that up here. There I am. I got off my mouth and started punching the shit out of the uh, faster. And then my uh, my bruiser got injured, so I followed him back. And then I went right back in and I saw that Dahika. And I said, dude, he just reduced my ally hit point to zero. And then I started punching the crap out of him, and then he back out. And so I left him alone. I came into the middle, and I saw the tank. I said, "Dude, did anybody touch my my uh, bruiser?" And then I started punching the variant. The variant said, "No, it wasn't me." And then I said, "Okay." And I went down. And I saw these uh, little bruiser camps just chilling, uh, little pharaohs or whatever you call them. And then I started punching the crap out of them. And it said, sorry, 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 we're gonna join your side. And so they joined my side, and now here we are. And so I went mid, I left them alone. And then the fast I came down and just took one of them out. I said, okay, you're gonna take one, and I'm gonna take yours. I ran out of patience though, and I had to go back mid. I started punching the crap out of all of these things. As you can see here, my build is uh, the DPS first talent, Iron Fist. So that's gonna be a lot of punching in this match. Anyways, punch around with Dehika. He tried to hook me, I said, no, no, no. Not today, not in my house. And then I dodged it. I came up here to help my allies. Oh god, that camp. Try to hurt here, try to get my mana back up. Most important thing to be an Iron Fister is to make sure that you have enough mana so you can fist them. Alright, so our kitty got killed, and he's running a decent build. I hate quest kitties. Anyways, I came here, or here is the moment, guys. Here is the moment. Okay, I'm gonna slow this down back to normal, so you guys can see, alright. Now, this guy think he's smart. Alright, this guy here think he's have, he have more IQ than the average odds player and this guy here is about to teach him a lesson all right this is a learning moment all right so let's do this match starts all right see you see this this is mind game all right it's not just mind game but also 500 well, we are playing as a, he's playing as a, at a 200 IQ moment right now, but I'm playing right now, as you can see, I made a move, right, which is a checkmate on him, but this here is a, it's a 500 IQ uh, experience right here, right now, alright, and then he made that, that 200 IQ move on me, and then I engaged, alright, look, look at that, okay, now we are both thinking who's going to make the actual move that is going to secure and actually take over the tower. 
Alright, this here is a very crucial moment as now he's now putting on his block, his counter, for me to not be able to damage him. Alright, so that little uh, talent he used up here brought his hit point back up above mine. So, guess what happened? I move and I move down to change the angle. Now, if you look closely, you'll see what's going on here. You just gotta think this is a 500 IQ gameplay right here. Alright, you see this? He make another move. And then that's a checkmate on me now, right? And so I have to, I'm running out of uh, options here. All right, now I have to do another checkmate on him. All right, we're playing 5D chess right now. Now I make a, I make that move. I say check me, bitch. Now the checkmate is on him. I just made a 300 plus IQ right now, almost hitting 1000K IQ rating. All right, and uh, my IQ keep continuing to increase like Dragon Ball entering Super Saiyan uh, Ultra Instant Mode. All right, now the checkmate is on him. All right, let's see what he does. You see that? He moved inward, all right? He noticed that he's not gonna win the battle like this. So he does another 500 IQ checkmate, and now the checkmate is on me. What am I gonna do here? All right, the checkmate is now on me. I have to come in a little bit to make sure that he doesn't capture this node. All right, as you can see, the color here is on him. It's it's uh it's blue. All right, so he's doing a little bit of damage. But now, right, as you can see, nobody have actually used this node yet. It's still it's still the same way it is. <laughs> <laughs> and we are still doing that 500 IQ checkmate on each other. All right, as you can see here, my hit point is a little bit advanced, higher than his, because I'm on a different level of civilization right now. I figure out what fire is, and now I'm using fire. But he's still in the in the middle of uh, doing his uh, ancient traditional dance, trying to figure out if the girls are gonna give him fire. All right, so now I'm moving my civilization up towards uh, advancing towards the wheel right okay so now i have invented the wheel and he is still back in the stone age with his low iq all right he's not autics enough all right <laughs> so as you can see here the checkmate is on him he think he's winning this all right as you can see the node is getting captured by him and he think he's winning this but he's not all right so he ooh, you see that big brains all right he tried to get out but that was too late all right so now i took over the node as you can see here i'm just slowly doing my thing and that's how we won that node all right, so these are like little moments that we have in games that I usually don't post them, but usually when you're playing against me, it's not just a simple match. It's literally a 500K IQ 3D mesh and uh, server meshing technology IQ mesh that you are playing with. Ashes of Creation cannot even come close to the advancement of my civilization when it comes to these matches. So we got hero slain, more match. Uh, we won this this match actually, and I'm gonna fast forward because I don't have time to be recording these 18 minutes, 60 minute videos. Anyways, we rush here, do some punching. I go in the brush, hide myself, come back out, spin around in circle, go into the brush again, come back and punch a little bit, go into the brush come back out I got captured here and then I dash towards the minion got out and then I run in get some drink spin around in circle waited for my allies went again and taunt that done they came towards me chasing me and then the rest of my ally comes in who started punching the crap out of them and they have uh, four guys here we have four guys our kitty is uh, uh, beating his meat in the middle of the, of the uh, arena and uh, we do a lot of damage, a lot of fighting here. The hacker had to uh, do his uh, ball thingy by himself. And uh, I'm just walking around casually, punching these guys and walking back into my allies. And now it's very comes here. As you can see, I have uh, a talent that increases the speed of my, well, 
I guess I, I don't have it yet. But anyways, I have my ultimate, and then I have some heals. And this here, when I dash towards somebody, I increase their healing and stuff like that. And then I use it with my totem. The totem actually uh, gives them more uh, healing when I do healing and stuff. It basically boosts my uh, my spells pretty much. Spell damage and stuff. I mean, uh, yeah, my spell power. Ooh. Man. This was an intense match. Anyways, the uh, variant is doing his job pretty well. I'm riding guys lane. We have, as you can see, we have a Hanzo. And we have a Kitty that is just solo lane for the most part. And we are here doing our thing. My hit point is low, so I back out. Everybody backs out. And I'm just gonna. Try to get these camps here. Viren comes in. It's not worth my death, so I just leave. These early stages, if you lose a lot of XP, that's how you lose the match. So it really wasn't worth it. And then I backed out. Um, there's no fort here, anyways, to take uh, for that to be useful again. So. We just came in here, do our thing, and I went back up, farming SP and stuff, and uh, I tried to teach the Dahaka who's boss. He said, no daddy, so puppy. And then I leave, well, I got stunned, oof, and I got slain. Alright, I guess I, I bit too much than I could chew. And I got destroyed. Anyways, the uh, Virion goes in, get those camps. We look down in the middle here, we see some stuff happening. Dahika is in the spotlight for the Hanzo. Hanzo doing some damage. He skedaddled across. And now the uh, KT is being uh, abused in the brush and he died. Anyways, as you can see here, we see uh, if I start taking that node, they're doing a lot of damage to our forts here. You can see these guys have three forts up right now. Three. Alright. So I'm doing my best to carry this match. And see our damage, our DPS are not doing nothing. They're just moving around. Well, the kitty is not doing anything. I'm going in here just taunting these guys so they can uh, they cannot focus on the... Uh, Objective so they can actually chase me around, wasting time pretty much. KT comes in, snipes the Jaina, and now the Hika is doing his stuff down here. I'm in the top here, doing some 500 IQ fights against this variant again. I'm just punching the crap out of these uh, these things here. We're gonna get those, the middle uh, fort and then the uh, top fort got pushed in by the KT. Uh, he actually did some decent stuff. Alright, I'm not just gonna, uh, you know, uh, trash talk him all the time. He went up and he got that fort. This fort here, it was the KT who got it. It isn't down yet, but he did most of the work. Anyways, we're gonna come here and clear these little uh, ferals we got uh, the boss here the boss pushing and we are putting in the work guys and it's too got a slain there I came in from the back like a wrecking ball got both kills there you guys probably did not see this part so I'm gonna lower, uh, skip back a little bit so you guys can see how that played out. Alright, Fair is here. That's me on my mount. Alright, I dash towards my ally and make them unstoppable. As you can see there, give them some movement speed too. Alright, KT ults. Alright, you guys see this? KT ults took up the same trouble. Uh, the gate came out by the Lyric from the Lyric here. And where's the Lyric? There's the Lyric in the corner. 
and uh, Morata is taking the damage, tanking the damage. He's not just taking it, he's tanking it for everybody here. There's a key difference in the uh, wording here. Tanky is just, it's different from just taking damage. All right, so now we are all sneaking in little by little. See, these guys were moving slow for some reason. All right, so I use my, my health, uh, like my ability to give them health and also speed their speed. I mean, give them speed, All right? And uh, Marauder is low here, but the tower is also low. I mean, the uh, fort is also low, and the boss is doing damage to it. And then the boss finishes the fort, and now it's our turn to engage pretty much. So another decent damage comes out here from the KT and as you can see if you don't notice I was actually sneaking under the boss so they don't see me or they cannot uh, click on me easily all right and I'm sneaky behind them sneaky mm. oh look at me mm. look at that mm. Jesus Christ look uh, look at that look uh, look how juicy that is Ooh. Ooh. oh my god all right now I'm in the back line all right and I'm about to destroy these guys man I'm about to wreak havoc Boom, 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 pow, boom, pow. I ended that guy's career. Now he's gonna take that 15 minutes thinking about the rest of his life. And then the variant is already on fire. And instead of him dropping and rolling, he was actually stopping, dropping, and rolling. He's actually gonna stop, drop, and then get fisted by me. Alright, boom, boom, pow. And he's done. Alright, I mount up, go on to the bus again. Uh, this time, uh, Fasta saw me and uh, he did what he wanted to do. We got the uh, unstoppable and murder in here. Sneaking around, getting a little bit of damage into those towers. The boy got hooked, and you can see I did my unstoppable thingy, and he got out of uh, the jail town there. And now I'm focusing on the structure. Right, I'm not worried about these guys. Most important thing right now is these structures. Got rid of the stretcher and now we are gonna back out. We are taking this lead and we are taking them safely and slowly. Alright, I'm gonna speed this baby up. We'll come in here, do some damage, dodge some of their basic attacks here. I back out to get my mana and my hit point back up. Because this here is a DPS monk, not a healer monk. So come up here there's some damage when I saw the variant I said hi he said hi back and uh, came back out Morata went in like a right came ball got half of his hit point deleted came back out he's gonna sneak onto that uh, faster there and he was off position and he got licked by the uh, Hanzo jumped into the Hanzo gave him some movement speed but the variant locked onto him, so I went to the variant and tried to teach him some lesson. And here, Jaina is pretty much dead. She went into a stasis, but that didn't help. Dash onto the Murata and gave him a lot of hit point. In addition to his passive healing, Murata locked down the uh, Hanzo again. I dashed onto him, making him unstoppable, giving him a lot of hit point again, as you can see there, along with my totem. Alright, this build is probably the best build for Karazumi in the, if you're a good player. Alright, all of my builds are the best build. Um, and they are very difficult to execute. So, if you're not good at the character, then you probably won't be able to execute it the right way. And it won't be the best build because you are still learning pretty much. Alright, so once you master the character, then you can use the build because it gives you all the values all right go in there get that uh, unstoppable onto the more then also get some unstoppable onto the lyric and it's just moving around i don't have enough uh, healing but i stuck around and my cooldown went through and i can heal them went onto that jena finished her off i'm in here sneaky trying to get me some little uh, action in Trying to strike a chord like Drake. Alright. 
I said, who did he, who did Diddy do it? Now, we wanna see if Diddy did it. All right, so went to the uh, firefighter, we asked him, did Diddy do it? And he said, no, I said, hmm, that's the wrong number. That's the wrong answer. And then I just destroy him because we all know that he did it, all right? He said that he did not do it, but no, that he always does it. All right, guys, uh, that's it, all right? And that's, that's how you do it, and uh, thanks for watching. All right, so here's the build. Now, this build is uh, it's kind of weird, all right? Um, so it is how it is this is not really what i use for the most part but f you know like a long time ago i started uh playing like dps karazin and this is what i came up with uh yeah you run out of mana pretty fast um but this here kind of helps gives you a little bit of a uh, restoration on your mana there and also give you some dash dashes and stuff like that and if you are playing with a character that you don't CC, right, you want a character to be moving fast so that they can be more beneficial for your team when they are like using the CCs and stuff like that. So I tend to use this. And also, if you have squishy DPS, you probably want to uh, go with this here, Healing Zeal, because this here it heals, it heals uh, squishy really, really fast. Like you dash to any squish, like I can heal uh, Tracer like from zero to 100 just by using this ability, this passive. Uh, and this thing is, is pretty good and stuff like that and you look at the scores here got six, six skill my healing was not that bad but it was still behind the stukov obviously and uh, I didn't do a lot of damage but I got most of the execution and as you can see Leora was able to run around fast and uh, use a lot of do a lot of CC well this here is XP but if you watch the match you guys saying like you already got a lot of support for me a lot of these guys got a lot of support and uh that's how you do it guys bye bye